scrap prison sentences of six months or less and instead look at community orders. The prison population within a few months could drastically reduce and be able to cope. It's all about money, 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 money. Okay guys, so today we're going to talk about a recent announcement that was made by the prisons minister, Rory Stewart. Here's a picture of him. Okay, so uh, this guy recently said that they're going to scrap prison sentences of six months or less and instead look at community orders, right? And he said something eye-catching like, six month sentence or a short prison sentence is a short enough time to do somebody damage, but not long enough in prison to do them some good, okay? I think the theory behind that is that things like education and training and stuff that you get in prison, for those to have an effect, maybe that takes more than six months or to correct people's behaviour. But if somebody's in prison for a very short time or any time, it's incredibly disruptive. And the way it's disruptive is this. First of all, they're sent to a prison miles away usually, so they don't have any contact with family. And if they've never been to prison before, well, that's a really heavy thing, isn't it? People also often lose their jobs or their accommodation when they're in prison. So they go from being in a situation where they were at risk of offending in the first place, that's kind of why they went to prison. And afterwards, when they come out in even higher risk, because they don't have the type of stability, like money, a roof over their head, whatever. That, that makes them less likely of committing offences. Okay, so that, that's kind of the theory. There's a big elephant in the room though, isn't there? And that's that prisons are completely overcrowded in the first place. Prison population in the last 20 years has doubled from about 40,000 to 80,000. And at the same time, of course, there have been massive cuts. So as a result, what do you get? You get these rising suicide rates. Death rate has doubled in prison. That's kind of scary, right? Self-harm is at epidemic levels. And every day from major prisons, prisons are being put either on the hospital wing or taken to hospital because of drug overdoses. And prisons are bedlam like never before. Prisoners are typically now in, in their cell, locked in a small cell with other men or women for 23 and a half, even 24 hours a day. There's no easy solution to that except spending money. And money is something the government does not have at the moment. So what are they looking at? I know we'll push this really liberal agenda of trying to reduce the prison population by looking at courses in the community instead of short sentences. And because half of that prison population approximately is doing those short sentences of six months or so, you end up with a situation where the prison population within a few months could drastically reduce and be able to cope, right? So that's the theory. The reality is, of course, is it's all about money. They don't have the money, so they're pushing this agenda. Is it going to work? Well, it's demonstrated that community orders can be effective, but actually short prison sentences have very little effect. It's always been a political hot potato though, and maybe while we're having all this kind of Brexit mayhem going on at the moment and votes of no confidence in Parliament, this is a good time to slip something in that the tabloids, a new policy which is quite liberal, that the tabloids might not appreciate. Maybe that's part of it. The reality is government has been trying to reduce the prison population by doing things like this for some time. Kenneth Clark tried to do it a few years ago when he was Justice Secretary. There was massive uproar about it. Whatever the purposes of this are, whether it's to save money or to do something good, I suppose is irrelevant. You know, I dare say a Conservative government is more interested in saving money than it is saving the souls of, of inmates. But I suppose if the result's the same, then everyone's a winner. Let's see if the policy actually comes into force.